Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be learning how to create option menus in tkinter. An option menu is basically a drop down menu that lets you select from a group of options. So this one's just like a basic security question you might get asked when you're maybe trying to log into your bank account or something and you can say okay you can type in your answer so Frank Herbert or something and once you click submit it'll validate that answer you provided versus the question that was asked and this all works with an option menu now we're gonna be creating the skeleton for this option menu meaning we're not gonna have any validation in it but we're gonna be able to create this drop down menu and a little box to put a example answer in so let's open up our Python file and here we started with our basic tkinter skeleton now the steps for this process is going to be to first create the list of questions and then pass them into an option menu afterwards we're going to create a submit button and actually before we create that submit button let's create an entry for the answer so these are the four steps we're going to be using and the first step let's go ahead and create a list of questions so we're going to say that questions equals it's just going to be a list and let's just say what is your mother's maiden name we are going to say who's your favorite author um, what was your first pet's name forgive the generic questions here but get the idea and let's say what street did you grow up on now this is our list of questions and I can't spell questions so now we want to actually pass these to a variable that tkinter is going to understand so we have to create a tkinter variable let's call this tkvar questions equals string var and the first argument we're going to pass to that is root and that should be a V capital V so string var root this is a variable that allows the option menu to actually understand it so if you pass these questions in just like that it's gonna get, get a little confused about what's going on and it's not gonna let you select any answers that you've placed so now we're gonna say that list let's call this question menu equals option menu the first argument is gonna be root the second argument is gonna be that tkinter variable so tk var q and now the actual variables that we're passing to this is going to be questions so we're going to pass that as a star questions the star operator in python sort of works like a unpack so it unpacks all these elements in this list and places them into this option menu now if we run this we're going to see that we're not going to have anything set as a default so we actually want to set the very first argument for this string var let's say dot set and the first one is going to be the first element of questions let's pack this question menu and once we run this we're going to see that we have a little menu and it pops up in the same order that we created these list of questions in so we have our questions completed and we pass them into the option menu now let's create an entry for the answer let's say that the answer entry is going to be an entry the first argument is root and let's say the length equals 30 characters answer entry dot pack and it's actually width I always get confused whether it's length or width so the width is 30 characters long and this is gonna let us to type in our text now let's go ahead and make that submit button and the submit button is going to be a button with the first argument is root the text is submit and for the command let's create a function called print answers now these answers are going to be printing is going to be a formatted string so let's create a function called print answers it's going to return nothing let's just leave it blank for now and let's go ahead and pack that submit button so now once we run this we're gonna see that something got goofed up mm, I went to say dot pack 
Oops. Okay, so now we have our menu here. We have the drop down menu. We have a spot to put the answer, and then we have a submit button. Obviously, the submit button doesn't do anything right now. So let's go ahead and make it. Uh, let's make it print out the question and answer in a sort of key value pair. So let's say print, and what we're going to be printing is the question in a bracket. That means we're going to be able to format that value later. So brackets are sort of like placeholders for values you want to insert later. So we're going to say question and then answer to another bracket dot format. And we're going to format this with, hmm, let's say tkvarquestion.get and let's also put in answer entry dot get. This is simply getting the values that we put into those option menu and that text entry. So let's just see how this works. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's just type in some junk. If we actually submit it, we see that it's actually getting the value that we have in this option menu and the text that we place in that text entry. So who's your first pet's name? Let's just say um, Fred. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of a name. So submit. Who's your first pet's name? Fred. Now you can do a lot more things with this. This is the most fundamental way to sort of mangle the data. You can actually save this maybe to a database later on or have some way to validate whether a user is actually answering the right questions. But this is how it basically works. You can use a lot of different methods for this to sort of tweak it to however you want it to be implemented. So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos.